David Fudge, I'm from Sun City West, Arizona. Tom Sharp, and I'm from <coughs> Oakland, California. My name is Lita Dukeshire, and I am from Yarmouth, Nova Scotia, Canada. Uh, my name is Brett Hayering and I'm from Dominican Republic. My name is David, and I'm from Sydney, Australia. I'm retired, but I was a biomedical engineer designing medical equipment. I was working for a pharmaceutical company. I'm a commission sales rep in the uh, tire industry, selling tires. I work for the uh, U.S. Border Patrol, and uh, I still am employed there. I've got about three years before I retire. I practiced dentistry for 47 years. And day trading is something I want to learn how to do, and I haven't found a good mentor or a good training program to kind of help me along the way, so when I found uh, CTU, I thought this is definitely the place I wanted to jump in on. The chat room is just incredible, the support that you get from other team members that help you to identify stocks that may be moving or that are really looking good for trades. There's a lot of the, uh, the people that I've met here, uh, the instructors and you know, the other students too. Fausto and the team really took, a, took their time with me. They put their money where their mouth is. They get the results. You know, you can actually see them make the actual trades instead of just teaching theory and, and you know, leaving it to you to work out in the real world. It's a very well-organized program. It's um, logically oriented for me. And being in the chat room, there are a lot of good people. And I've gotten to know a few online, and then here I've gotten to know several more. But I think I just saw Fausto on a webinar uh, somewhere one day. And I was impressed, and so I decided to check it out. Here you are. Experience with Fausto. <laughs> <laughs> Fausto has been really helpful, really nice, um, and I think the team he has around him makes it, you know, really, really easy. That I realized how much he really cares about his students learning. It wasn't something like that he's just trying to get to a part of his team. It's much deeper than that. A amazing guy. Um, met him on. Uh, I remember uh, hearing his first video, his first live video, and uh, he has a lot of charisma, uh, and he's genuine how he sounds online. And I, I feel that he has a genuine interest in people and, and a sincere desire to see us grow and prosper. Now that I met him, see that the humble he is, you know, I see him as a very great man and mentor to follow into this field. At Cybertrade University, one of the biggest things that really always concerned me is I was you over 20 years ago. And what I needed more than anything was support. I need to learn and I need someone to hold my hand. Well, one of the big things we're very big on is we're very big on support and all the staff at Cybertrade University is very, very well educated and trained how to trade the market. So when you call us, you're going to be talking to a education advisor or an instructor and you're going to see how much we really care about your trading. A lot of people you know, really don't look at you not only as a student, but we look at you as a family member because trading is a family. Or I certainly feel like I'm included as part of a family, if you will. Right? It's just a family feeling. They're taking care of you. We will always be there. We were one of the very first people who pioneered webinar technology when it first came out in the late 90s. When you log into our website, you're going to see that we have courses, recordings, we have it going through step one, step two, step three, from beginners to advanced students. And you could come back and take the class as many times you want for free. 70% of our training courses are live, and we train you live in the market. So you're not just reading out of a textbook. It's like a different adventure. It's just a different course because different movements in the market, different situations happen all the time, but it's the same game. And that's what teaches you how to trade in today's volatility at Cybertrade University. New York City the site of the International Traders Expo. Um, and I like to show people when I start trading live because it gets them to feel, the look and feel of what it's like to be in that race.
In the competition, our camera focuses on Puglisi, who despite all the options available to modern day traders, is concentrating on common traditional stocks. I have, I already did two trades already. The session starts with Fausto fishing for active stocks. Soon it will be the last half hour of the market day in New York, almost always the most active part of a short-term trader's day. I'm scanning through my top 20 list. I, I, my top 20 list is all percentage gainers and losers. I'm trying to find a stock that has some good volatility. Um, I'm trying to find some stocks. I mean, I don't care what they do. I don't, I don't care if they're going bankrupt or whatever. Fausto finds his first big move. United Airlines. He buys and it dips. He sells and it dips even lower. You gotta know where those dominated brokerage firms are. You gotta know where they're buying it. You need to know where they're selling it. You need to know who the big boy in that stock is. A lot of people think it's just as easy as just, you know, let me just trade a brand name stock and, you know, because it's, you know, Intel or Google, you know, and, and that's something that you don't can you hear me loud and clear? Just give me a little chat back if you guys can hear okay. Alan, good to see you. Michael, all right, Ken. Good to see you all. All right, just get a little chat back if you guys can hear okay. All right, good, good, good. All right, so uh, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Fausto Puglisi, president and founder of CyberTrade University. I'm glad you guys uh, took the time to be here after, after lunch, so the best time to actually do these events. We have a bunch of staff members here to kind of help answer any questions you might have regarding uh, our, our presentation. But um, I'm going to talk a little bit about what day trading is, how things work, and see if it's for you. Because it, you know what? Everybody wants to trade doesn't mean everybody should trade. So what I'm going to do right now is I want to share my PowerPoint with you. So uh, just give me a second right here. There we go. Hopefully everybody can see that okay. All right. Perfect. So today's topic, we're going to talk about how to day trade for a living. OK, and it, it really is a great living. I mean, a lot of us right here would love to work at home, come out of our pajamas, never be late for work. Don't have to answer anyone, deal with traffic, you know, lifting things, worry about employees, rent, anything. So everybody wants to do it. And what my, my goal today is to teach you a little bit about what it is, how it works, you know, and uh and, see, and hopefully to get everybody an opportunity to come and actually join us to see real people like you making money in the market. Now, just keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, I want to clarify something very important. If you're here for a free um, computer or a raffle or you're looking to win a free car or you're looking for free software or free education i'm just telling you right now you're in the wrong place okay if you're somebody that wants someone you could team up with to be part of a team someone that's going to work with you and and so you could buy your own things and be proud of it if you want to know how to play the game and see if it's for you and see if actually people do make money and try to really almost like applying for a job because you always wanted to trade, you just didn't know how to, then you're in the right place. And that's basically what we're going to be talking about in the next hour. My, my, my goal today is to prove to everybody that trading is the greatest job in the world and how and why is it and how to do it properly, and then to prove it to you by inviting you to be in a room for a whole week and see what it's all about, all right? Now, um, if anyone is having any audio problems or anything else, just log out, log back in, and basically uh, that would be the best thing to do, all right? So what we're going to learn today, I'm going to talk about how we find triple-digit gainers, and I'm talking real triple-digit. Uh, triple digit gainers, not the ones that you find on penny stocks and you, people says, oh, I heard about this or anything like that. Trust me, that is not what we're going to be talking about. I'm going to show you what is level three. How do I know so much about level three is because I was actually one of the developers for the exchanges like NASDAQ that built it. You heard about it. You've seen about it. It's not a unicorn. It is for real. And I'm going to show you that this is what controls 70% of the volume. You're also going to show you how to follow the smart money in the market and then how all this comes to fruition by using your time and sales window, which a lot of you probably are not using. Now, before I get into educating all of us, let me just tell you a little bit about myself, okay? Because, you know, I know a lot of you guys come to these webinars and you listen to these people and you don't know what to believe. Listen, there's a lot of crap out there, okay? And, you know, unfortunately, there's a lot of scammers too. So I don't want anyone to feel uncomfortable. And let me just tell you 
who we are, why I'm here, and why you better listen to what I'm about to tell you. Because remember, I am here for the same reason you're here, to make money. And I'm, I'm looking for people that are looking for that same desire. So how did I find people to teach him how to make money? Michael says, I'm in. <laughs> well, good. That's good to hear, Mike. So we got a lot, we got a lot to talk about. First of all, let me just tell you how I started. Um, I've been a prop trader, meaning I trade other people's money at a trading firm here in New York for about five years. Okay, uh, how I got into the uh, into the trading business? Well, it took me to lose a lot of money to figure that one out because I didn't want to split profits with anybody. I didn't want to commute back and forth to the city. I didn't want to commute, you know, learn from other traders. I thought I could do it myself, right? Well, listen. I guess some of you here probably are figuring that out the hard way that you can't do this on your own. You got to be part of a team. You got to learn. You got to learn how to trade. And that's why I know a lot of you are here. Now, once I what you're about to learn today is about the same thing I learned over 25 years ago. Should have never made my first trade. Why is that? Because I didn't have the right tools. I had never had the, uh, the right execution system. I wasn't surrounded by people that actually made money. OK. Um, and that's what you're about to see. So it didn't take me too long to figure it out. Um, it took me about a year to blow up three accounts. It took me about three months to realize, you know, how to be very consistent. Well, let me just tell you who is Cybertrain University and why we're here and how it, it, it came to fruition. Um, it came to a point when I didn't want to split the profits working for somebody. And I said, you know what? I want to go on my own. Well, my mentor has taught me something, which is what you're going to learn right now. You want to go on your own, Fausto. They said, great. You're not going to succeed. I'm like, why not? I'm a great trader. He said, you know why? Because you're going to lose all this community. You're going to lose this camaraderie. You're going to, you're going to lose these great offices, great computers, great technology, um, level three, instant at, uh, sitting next to, you know, uh, uh, Phil, who's one of the biggest producers here. You know, the only way you're going to do that, you have to train people how to do it. And that's how Cybertrain University was born. Okay, because a lot of people always ask, and this is a great, great, uh, a, a great, a great question to ask. People always ask and say, you know what? If you're a great tra trader, why do you teach? Well, I teach because I have to teach my traders to be as good as me, so it makes my life easier. So we trade together. That is the real reason why you know I teach. It's to find people I could teach, so I could trade with. Okay, so I'm going to introduce you to all these people. And you're going to see why Cybertrain University has been in business for over 25 years and does more training for any school than, uh, than any school in the industry. And that's what I'm about. And that's the, uh, that's the tip of the day that you guys are going to be learning. Now, let's begin, guys. Let's get right into it. And uh, Bob, this is not a video. You know, this is live. OK, I know some of you get these these evergreen webinars are like, oh, we're going to start in like 30 minutes. And people are like, you know. How did, how did you guys go on in 30 minutes? So, uh, no, this is a live event. So let's begin, guys. Question, okay? Question for everybody. What kind of trader are you? So let me just go out there and put a, pick, uh, a quick poll question. So let me know what kind of trader are you? A stock trader, options trader, futures, Forex, an investor? Just want to get to know what kind of trader everybody here is in the room, okay? All right. All right, so we got a lot of options traders, a couple of few. Okay, well, this looks like the polls are coming in. All right, now as you guys are filling that out, um, so we all know exactly who we all are, what kind of traders we are. I'm actually a day trader. Okay, now ooh, day traders, they lose a lot of money. Ooh, day traders, it you know they're like the antichrist of trading. L let me listen. Day trading got a bad name back in 2000, um, and and the reason because a lot of people lost money in day trading. And I and listen, I've been through 95, 2000, 2008, and guess what? It's 2019. I'm still here doing it and doing better than ever. Why is that? First of all, let me just explain something to you. A lot of people were not day trading. Okay, day trading means this: you're in and you're out the same day. That's day trading. Okay, when you hold a position overnight, now you're a swing trader. And there's a short-term swing trader, a long trader, and then there's options trading. You know, I know we so we have a lot of options traders out there. Well, let me just tell you something, guys. You want to be a good options trader, you damn well better be a good stock trader first, because it's the movement of the stock that makes an option move. It's a lot easier just to trade the stock 
than to trade the option. I hope everyone here that is trading options is not doing it trading options because of the leverage purposes, because that's a poor man playing a rich man's game. That's not a way of trading options. And believe me, I, I've seen a lot of people lose a lot of money in trading. Now, what is day trading? Be more specific. Basically, you're profiting from momentum trading, volatility every day. That's basically what day trading is all about. You, you're really making money on what's going on in the market. Like we're having some great winners today. Uh, BBBY, you know, moving really nicely. Stock is, uh, you know, stocks up, uh, you know, going from 16 to 17. Um, we trade a stock this morning. It was a stock symbol FUZ. Stock went from like 350 to almost six dollars. RBZ, another one, dollar fifty to two fifty in about thirty minutes. Uh, I mean, the list goes on and on. This was a great one right here. The IVC, you know, stock went from up sixty six percent today. Went from like seven to nine dollars. These are things that we trade here at Cybertrade University. Why they up? Why? Who does it matter? We're just here to make money, okay? Because most traders were basically just trying to make a day's pay. You know, I don't know if you guys ever really think about it, but if you bought a thousand shares of stock and it moves 50 cents, okay, like for example, the stock I'm talking about, IVC, 50 cents, forget about a $2, you got a quarter of that move, 50 cents, $500 a day, six figure salary, who doesn't want that job? Now, how do you become a very successful trader, you know, when it comes to trading? Well, First of all, you got to have the right brokerage account, okay? That is a big mistake. Everybody, you know, one of the big reasons why people fail is they go out there and they just want, oh, I, who's got the cheapest ticket? Who's got the nicest commercial, you know? Uh, oh, I heard it's Schwab. They got to be the best. Oh, Fidelity, phew, you know, the Fidelity Fund, I mean, great company. Guys, that doesn't make you money, okay? Just because you can go out there and buy a brand new Mustang doesn't mean you can race it in the Indy 500 to try to win the million-dollar purse. All right. I think we're all kind of figure that one out. So what you do need, you got to have the right direct access broker. Now, I'm not here to sell brokerage services. We're brokerage firm neutral. But I'm just telling you, you know, that right there is about 50 percent of the failure rate. And you know who you are. OK, listen, they're not bad companies. It's just you, you got to have the right brokerage account for the right type of trading. Like, for example, John says he does futures and options. Well, you know, there's only about one or two brokerage firms that are really good at that. I know that every brokerage firm's, oh, yeah, we offer futures trading. Doesn't mean, just because they offer it doesn't mean that they have a good platform on that. Another thing, not having the right setup. I know that some of you probably visit me um, and have seen me on Thinkorswim. You see me on TradeStation. You see me on Schwab. You know, listen, these brokerage firms try to, you know, brag how great that platform is, but 70% of it, you don't need it. Okay. And one of the big things you got to, you got to have a right setup. One of the big things that we coach you. Another thing you got to look at is uh, traders. We look for stocks to have the least amount of risk with the high amount of reward. News just came out right now. Amazon just pulled out in New York city. They gave a big middle finger to them. You know, they didn't like their politics. They didn't like, you know, their politicians, the things they were saying. Is there a way to profit from that? Well, unfortunately, catastrophes do make opportunities. Would I trade that? No. I'd rather trade a stock like IVC. A hell of a lot cheaper than risking $1,600 a dollar stock when I could do that on an $8 stock. Okay. These are things that you learn. Um, another big thing that we do here in day trading, we don't, work, we don't trade all day. We trade the first hour of the open. And the last hour of the close, that's where the money is. And actually, most of the money we make is in pre-market. Do you know how many people do not realize they have access to pre-market trading? We actually do most of our trades right in the pre-market. That's what, I mean, uh, what was the big winner that we had in pre-market that we traded? Um, yeah, it was uh, the RBZ. Stock was like a dollar fifty. Thing ran to about two fifty, and you know, in just in pre market. I mean, that's where you make your money. You see, what we focus on is on the big percentage gainers, because that's where most of the money is being made. Um, Stephanie has a question: How do you trade pre market? That's a great question, um, Stephanie. And guess what? At the end of this presentation. I'm going to invite all of you to come and join me tomorrow morning at eight o'clock in the morning and see what it's all about. So going out there and explaining it, how to do it, you know what? An image is worth a thousand words, okay? So me trying to explain it right now 
Don't worry about it. I'm going to show you how to do it tomorrow. But you can do it. That's that's one of the big things you've got to understand. Now, why do most traders fail? I mean, the list goes on and on and on. First of all, they mix their trading with their day trading, with their swing trading, and their options trading. Listen, there's only one type of trading. If you're a day trader, there's a certain way you have to look at your layout and and, and you have to trade a certain way. If you're a swing trader, it gets more complicated, more indicators, more book value, P ratios, all that. You want an options trade, you got more indicators, you got more styles of trading and so on. So a lot of people like the concept of day trading because it's just a buy and sell and that's it. You know, you're just trading strictly momentum. But um, it's the actually easiest type of trades. But that's where a lot of people make a lot of big mistakes. Second, they read too many damn books. You know, let me tell you something. Um, you can learn more by risking $50 in a stock than you'll learn in a $50 book. Okay. So, and Michael, that's fine. And there's a reason why it, and we'll find out, Michael, why you never traded. Okay. I don't know. Are you a deer in the headlights? So no one ever taught you? We'll get there. But let me tell you, big mistakes that people make. Look for cheap ticket charges. Oh, you know, listen, you know what's so funny? When I traded 25 years ago, when I started, it cost me $20 a ticket to buy it and then to sell it. it and with the fees and everything, it would cost me $50 just to do one trade. And people are crying that they're paying $5 a ticket and still can't make money. I made money paying $50 a ticket. People can't even make money at $5 a ticket and they still want a good deal. Listen. It's not about, a, you know, it's not about getting cheap tickets, having the right platform. And that's a mistake that people make. Another mistake people make, they trade by themselves. And you're going to see here at Cyber Trade University, that is one of the cardinal rules we do not do. We, you trade with a team, okay? And not only a team, a successful team. Listen, I beat every school I competed against around the world. I've been to China. I've been to Europe. I've been to all over the United States, Canada, I beat every school I competed against. That doesn't make you money, okay? What makes you money is could you see people that we trained, how they're making money. And how do you do that? By not trading by yourself, by not be trading by someone that's good, but seeing if those other people are making money. And that is being involved, surrounding yourself with a successful group of traders. Another big thing, reason why people lose, they don't know how to take losses, okay? They go into a trade. They don't know how to get in out of a stock. They're making mistakes. They don't know how to make quick decisions. They don't have a team. Somebody's telling them, hey, you know, Michael, did you, did you, I know you're right now in uh, uh, Bed Bath & Beyond, BBBY, which is what we're trading in our trading room right now. Or, you know, d d here's moving, which is what we're looking at right now, H-E-A-R. I don't know if you guys have a platform. Look at it. It's like the stock just went from $17.50 to $19. You know, how to get out of one, get into the other. That is what trading like a team it has to all to do you know and also it takes patience you got to be patient because uh when it comes to trading you're not going to learn this in an hour it could take weeks it could take months but let me tell you something you could be doing this for years and then last but not least having the right mentor i know some of you filled out a qa I see some of you taking some courses, some decent guys, some good people, and some bad ones. You got to keep looking for the right mentor. You want to find the right person that's been around for a while, has a very good reputation, that's associated with good brokerage firms that are endorsing them, and you, but you got to learn from a mentor. Listen, if, if it was easy, everybody would be making a lot of money doing this. Listen, if we didn't have to go to college and could go out there and didn't have to go to elementary school, I think some of us probably would do that. I still fight today to get my kid to go to school you know, at 10 years old. So that's where basically, you know, listen, but we know they need it. Now you understand the philosophy, what day trading is. Now let's get into what is Cyber Trade University strategy, okay? Because I think that's why most of you are here, all right? So the biggest thing that you have to understand, and let me tell you something, what you're about to see right now is going to be extremely disturbing. And why I mean it's disturbing, because you're going to realize that you've been trading blind this whole time. And you know what? People didn't tell you this, and specifically brokerage firms, because they don't want you to know what they're doing. Remember, I don't work for them, okay? We work together, okay? That's how we make money. And I'm going to tell you what their biggest secret is. And the one thing you got to look at this photo is look at this photo on the left-hand side. 
Okay, who are those people on the left hand side? Those are traders. Okay, how many monitors are they looking at? What are they looking at? Why are they looking up? Why do they have one screen? There's people that go out there and say, oh, I got six screens. Yeah, let me just listen. If you can't make money with one, how the hell are you going to make money with six? Okay? I was one of those guys. I'm going to teach you exactly what they're looking at and make you realize that everything that you've been doing, you've been making it more complicated for yourself and making a lot higher, harder and probably, probably the reason why, Michael, you never did a trade. Okay? So it's following the dominating brokerage firm so by following a dominating brokerage firm the goal is, is is if you're in a position you have to find who is the guy who's got the most shares out there that needs to buy that's buying it and selling it okay remember one very important valuable lesson and this and and one of my greatest mentors frank ferrari has taught me he says fausto i'm telling you right now once you think you know something about the stock market you're gonna lose all your money i'm like how is that possible? What are you talking about? Because it doesn't matter what Fausto thinks. It doesn't matter what you think, Stephanie. It doesn't matter what you think, Rich and John and Robert. It's what the street thinks. Follow and do what they're doing. You're not moving hundreds of thousands of shares. They need to. You're just trying to, you're, you're just, you're just, the, you're just the ants on the floor. You're just trying to get the crumbs. Okay. You're just trying to make a couple of hundred dollars, a thousand dollars a day. These guys have to, you know, uh, did you guys see how much, what ha the news just recently? There was a building, uh, an apartment that was sold in Manhattan for $265 million. The most expensive apartment sold in the world. Guess who bought it? Can't tell you the name because I don't know who the name is, but they did say one thing. He was a hedge fund guy, the finance guy. Okay, so this is why we know that. That's why we're in this business. Wouldn't you like to follow that guy and see where he's buying it and selling it? Well, that's what I'm about to show you. So it's all about, you know, not only having the volatility in the market, but it's also following those dominated market makers. Now, what I'm showing you right now, what you're seeing is three different um tools that are going to tell you where the buyers and sellers are okay now there are th three different levels to get a quote on a stock there's level one level two and level three now before i do that i want to do a quick poll okay let me get my poll here and uh just give me a second okay now my poll is this do you have level three access which is what we're going to talk about on the right. Who here is level three? And just be honest. And if you're a student, please don't answer this question, okay? Don't want to make that mistake. All right, so we got 20% so far say yes, 25. Looks like that's dropping. 50% of you saying no. 26 are saying not sure, okay? All right. So let me, as you're filling that out, let me explain to you what the difference is. All right, so here on the left-hand side, level one is basically just giving you a quote what the stock is at. So if I told you, hey, uh, where's, uh, I don't know, where's Amazon, oh, GE trading at? Oh, it's trading at uh, $10.04, okay? Right here, we're looking at AMD. Yeah, it's trading at $21.37. Okay, great. What does that tell me? Okay, oh, it tells you the market cap tells you, you know, uh, the P ratio tells you, you know, how many shares on the bid and offer, the yearly range. That means nothing to me. All that tells me is what the stock is trading. Who's buying it? How many shares are looking to buy? Where's the biggest buyer? Guess what? You're not reading on that level one. You get level one on, you can look it up in Google. You look it on an app on the phone, you know, you can call your broker up, but that's all it's doing for you. Now, what is level two? Um, everyone here have anyone here have level two? By the way, Jack, listen, we're we're gonna we're gonna I'm gonna tell you we're gonna get access tomorrow. Okay, I'm gonna show you exactly where to get it. All right, and how it works. All right, regarding level three, you have level two, Richard. Okay, how much are you guys paying for level two? How much does it cost? How much does level two cost? It's exactly what it's worth. 
okay? Level two has been obsolete since the 90s, all right? It doesn't tell you anything. It was big back in the 90s, uh, but what it does is basically it just shows you who's buying it and who's selling it, okay, and how many shares. That's basically what it does. Sounds like a lot. The problem is it doesn't tell you how many buyers and how many sellers are out there, okay? It doesn't tell you all their buys and all their sells. So that's where level three comes in. Now, just to let you know, um, I was actually one of the pioneers who helped build level three. Um, I actually helped NASDAQ um, uh, come out with the, their, what they call ECNs. Uh, back then it was Island, now it's called NASDAQ. So um, basically this is like, you can, this is like Instanet. You're seeing where all the orders are from all over the street, they're being aggregated, okay, with all the different orders at every different price. So what you're seeing right now, ladies and gentlemen, is you're seeing or every bit, every buyer, every seller at every single price. Now, how does that help us? Well, think about it. Who are you to who you who are you to dictate where the stock is going? Question to everybody. How do stocks go up and down in the stock market? Can everyone answer that question? A very simple question. If you can't answer this question, you better close your account. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. How do stocks go up and down in the market? Very simple. Exactly. Supply and demand. Buyers and sellers. Can everybody put that in there? Don't be embarrassed. All right? Buyers and sellers. All right, just write just write S and D just so I know that you're alive. There's, listen, there's a few hundred people in here. Don't be, don't be insulted, all right? Don't be embarrassed. Thanks, Dave, Richard, good. Jim, Steve, good, good. Mike, buyers and sellers, BD, okay. You guys following along? Because if you can't get this part, then you're not going to get the rest of the part that we're going to go through. So what I'm telling you is one of Wall Street's biggest secrets right now. Here's an example of GE, okay? You got buy orders on the left. You got sell orders on the right. The buy is the demand. The sell is the supply, okay? These are lingos that we use. Now, if you notice here on the level three, whoever wants to buy the stock for the most amount of money is up on top. Whoever wants to sell the stock for the least amount of money is up on top. And it's basically a negotiated system. Depending on where, you know, wherever you want to buy it, you're going to be over here on the ranking. If you want to buy it for less money, you're down, down at the bottom. If you're willing to pay more for it, you're up on top. If you're a sell order, you want to sell it the cheapest, you're on top. You want to sell it for more, you're down at the bottom. So it's basically combined of all orders from all different exchanges, all different mutual funds, all different ECNs, all different brokerage firms, right smack in your face, okay? Now, forget about everything on your execution system for a minute. Forget about your charts, forget about your time and sales, your watch list, your heat seekers, your indicators, whatever you got on that thing, okay? This is gonna show you where all the orders are. Now, how do we utilize this data? Okay, okay, great, now we see the orders, now we know what's going on, okay. Now, let me repeat where we're at. And by the way, what I'm telling you right now, this is like trading 101. This is like basic trading. I didn't even teach you how to buy stocks. I didn't even, listen, I'm going to show you that, you know, when, when, when I invite you all to come to my trading room. Right now, I'm just showing you how these things go up and go down, okay, which a lot of you probably just don't even know other than you just said supply and demand. But how do you see the supply and demand? That's what level three does. So let's look at a chart right here, okay? So right here on, on the, on the left-hand side, do you notice how the stock – um, had a very, very tough time going past $18, very tough time. It went up, hit 18, it went up, hit 18, went back up to like 1830, came back down 18, 1830. And then it, eventually people says, listen, obviously it's not breaking 18. And it went from 18 all the way to 1890. Why would the stock have such a tough time breaking 18? Who is actually preventing it from going past 18? It's not Fausto, it's not you, Bill, it's not you, Pamela, okay? When you look over here on the level three, if you look over here on the buy orders and you work your way all the way down to 18, you'll notice you got 
7,000 share buyers, 6,000, 3,000. But then you'll notice there's a 61,000 share buyer. 61,000, okay, I don't have my, not, I'm good at math, but not that good. 61,000 times $18, you're talking over a million dollars worth of stock that's looking to be bought there, okay? You know and I know you're not buying a million dollar worth of stock. Somebody is. And for that to go any lower, someone's got to sell it to him. Apparently, no one did. And, and you know what? He's trying to buy it. No one's selling it to him. Well, there's probably only one way for him to get it. Maybe he executed all the sellers out there because right now he's a buyer. Now, let's look at some resistance levels. What prevents a stock from going higher? Sellers. Do you see any sellers on a chart? No. The chart is just telling us what happened in the past, not always indicative of the future. But in this situation, let's look at this chart. Stock goes from, this is AMAT. It goes from 39.20 all the way up to $40. All the way up to 40. Didn't want to get to 41, 42, 39.50. Why, why did it stop at 40? What, what does 40 have to do with it? Because you could see it went all the way down to $30.53. What stopped it from breaking 40? Well, when you look at the sell side on the level three, you'll notice there's a 138,000 share seller. Listen, you got a thousand share seller at 30, 90, 2000 at 31, you know, 91, you know, 1500 at 39, 95. But when you get to 40, you're talking 138,000 shares. That's a lot of shares. Okay, 38, think about that, a $40 stock times 138,000 shares, someone is looking to sell 5.5 million shares, okay, it's a hell of a lot more than what most people are advertising, so why would the stock not break that resistance at 40, because there's a big seller out there, okay, remember, how do stocks go up and go down? Supply and demand. What do you have right there? There's obviously a big supply out there. What is the supply? A seller sitting right there, right smack in the middle of your face of your eyes, right in, right in the middle of you. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what makes support and resistance levels on a chart. Uh, Stephanie has a stupid question. Listen, Stephanie, there's no, there's no such thing as stupid questions, okay? When you got money on the line, you know, <laughs> everything counts. Uh, would a sale be reflected on the bid, not on the ask? Well, we didn't get to that yet. We're going to get to that when we talk about time and sales, Stephanie. Okay, but that's a great question. And it's not a dumb question at all. Let's look at this example right here. Okay. Quick glance. Is the stock going up or going down? What do you guys think? When you look at this, first thing you see, what do you think it's doing, up or down? <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, Stephanie. What do you think of the stocks doing, up or going down? If you don't know the question, the answer, just give me a question mark. Dave says down. Okay, everyone else? Down, down, down. Michael says down. Andrea says down. Okay, listen. Uh, it's not a trick question, okay? The stock's going down, all right? I'm just getting right to the point. It's it, it's at 3160. Listen, you could tell me, oh, but it's got only five red bars and one green. Usually that leads to one green up. Uh, come on, listen, stop analyzing, guys. Okay. We're not you're not analysts. Stock's going down. Okay. Now, this is the question. How does when is that stock going to go back up? Is it going right to zero? What's going to prevent that stock from going up? Uh, so, uh, what's going to prevent that stock from going any lower? What do we need? That's right, Richard. The trend is your friend. What do we need for that stock to go up? Can everyone answer that question? Need buyers, right? Good. Do you see buyers on a chart, everyone? You see any buyers on a chart? No, you don't. The, the, the chart is what happens, you know, it's what's happening in the past, not in dick of the future. How do you how do you read the future? Well, a chart doesn't help you that. That only could give you a little bit of a game plan. So let's implement, let's look what's going on in level three. Okay. 
Now, when you look over here on level three, you'll notice that at $30.59, the biggest, the guy that wants to pay the most amount of money for the stock only wants to buy 1,200 shares. The next guy below him is at 900, 1,000, 500. Now, if you look all the way down to $30.50, you got a 30, almost a 36,000 share buyer. It's pretty substantial compared to what everyone else is buying, okay? Kind of sticks out right in front of you, right? Kind of seeing that thing. Look at that big buyer right there. Wow, interesting, okay? Well, remember the stock that you said was going down, okay? Well, look what happened at $30.50 when it came up to that buyer. It hit $30.50, which you all said it was going down. But it didn't go low any lower when it got to there because when it when it came up when it when it met with that thirty thirty dollars and fifty cents buyer the stock shot straight up back to thirty one twenty, and if you knew that, look how much money you would have made if you bought a thousand shares of that stock at thirty dollars and fifty cents, and you sold it literally I don't know five minutes later, could have made yourself fifty cents five hundred bucks hundred thousand dollar year salary, sign me up I'll take that job any day. OK, how many of you here are seeing those buyers? OK, Richard, I was waiting for, you know, somebody to come up with an answer, a question like that. Um, you know, you're probably very familiar with fake news. OK, well, this is how I'm going to this kind of uh, prove to you fake buyers and sellers tomorrow, Richard. Um, or start on whenever you want to start. I'm going to invite you to my trading room. OK, and I'm going to find a guy that's got thirty five thousand shares. OK, and we're going to take your account and I want you to execute that guy. And you tell me how fake that guy is. OK, you want to take that bet? SEC filing. I don't know what that means, Daniel. What does that what does that mean? SEC filing. You, you, you I can go buy thirty thousand shares. I don't have to send a, a file an SEC filing. Do that. Buyer's a buyer. OK, but Richard, you want to take that bet? You want to do that? You want to see how fake that is? <laughs> I bet you don't, right? Listen, first of all, you can't put fake orders with a broker's account. Okay, these are all real orders. Now, can you change your mind? Of course, you could change your mind. Anyone could change their mind. But that's a, that, that's another lesson in itself. Okay, but the bottom line is that's a real order out there. Though not, there's no, no. First of all, like I said, no broker firm will, can let you put a fake order out there. And number two, um. You know, there's no SEC filings. I don't know. I don't know where that came from. Okay. Now, let's eliminate all charts, indicators, sun seekers, all this crazy stuff. Let's just look at this example right here. Okay. Uh, Charles, a question: Does trading, uh, does trading in lots of hundred shares matter anymore? Is it possible to trade odd uh, lots? Is easy. Um, we'll charge once again. That's a, that's that's a strategy we're going to talk about in class. All right, where I'm going to invite you all to come in there. That's that's a great question, um, and that's a strategy in itself. Daniel may be thinking uh, of an insider. Phil saying, "Yeah, and and you know what? I I understand that, Daniel. Uh, but that how does that make you money? Right? The order is the order. There's an order out there, and that's that's the that that's the bottom line." Don't worry about, oh, why is that order out there? Let me look at the SEC. Did somebody do a filing on that? Did, you know, because by the time that by the time you figure it out that the stock already took off and you're gone and you just lost that good profit. Now let's look at this. Where do you think resistance level is in SGMO? What is SGMO? Who the hell cares? Okay? Doesn't matter. But where is the resistance levels? Would you think that this stock is going to have a tough time breaking going higher? What do you guys think? AB says buck fifty. William says about eight fifty. Panko says eight fifty. Rob says eight fifty. Come on, guys, don't be embarrassed. Just come on, stop, stop watching. You know, CNN and Fox Business News and and, and everything. Don't worry about trading the market. You're at the slowest time right now. Focus on what we're talking about right here. I'm taking this very seriously. You know, I take the time out of my day to kind of educate you guys. You know, because you're not going to you're not going to pay attention. You shouldn't be here. You shouldn't be here because you're not going to make money in trading, and you're not going to be worth being part of a team. So don't take it the wrong way. I'm being very honest. Thank you very much. Eight fifty, eight fifty. Good, Aaron. Good, Rich. Bill, you got to talk. I'm trying to teach you guys how to talk. If you don't talk, you're never going to learn. Okay. If you said eight fifty, 
You're right, 17,000 shares. You got sellers at 200, 400, 100, 200. You got, you know, you got a big seller out there at 16,000, okay? Now, look what happens when we implement the chart. Looking at this stock right here, without knowing with, that there was a seller we just saw, what do you think the stock's doing, going up or going down? And Daniel says, I'm awesome. You know, Daniel, listen, I'll be honest with you. I've seen people blow up their accounts. I've done pr presentations. I've spoken. I've, sp I've, done, I've trained hundreds of thousands of people, okay? And you know why people lose money? Ignorance. Complete ignorance. They want to go find out their own way. And I've seen people, you know, it's a lot cheaper, you know, making a small investment in education. They'll lose, they'd rather lose it all in one trade, you know? So I just don't want you guys to be part of that, that claim. You know, the, the, trading is an 80% failure rate. 80%. You know how much it bothers me? I mean, how do you guys want to lose? And so I hate seeing people lose money. Now, the trend of this stock right now is going up. That's the trend. Okay. You could add every indicator on that. That trend is going up. It's got it's going up. But when you when you got a seller out there of that 16,000 share seller, look what happened when time went by. The stock just not only it went down to 850, it dropped all the way down to almost eight dollars. It could have got crushed right there. You know, how many times have you bought a stock like this? 760. You're like, oh my God, I'm up eight fifty, I'm up a thousand dollars. I'm this is great, you know. You know, it's it, it, and the way the it, what Mr. Fibonacci just told me and the MACD and the RSI, this thing looks like it's going to 950. And all of a sudden you turn around like, how the hell does this thing drop down to eight? I don't know. Did you see the 16,000 share seller guy was trying to get out of it? You know how many people don't look at that? This is trading 101. How could you not see that? That there's somebody out there selling? Hell, that could be me, right? It could be anybody. But how did you not see that? That is level three trading. That is why Cyber Trading University, you know, our, our our whole philosophy is showing you how to follow the money. We're not here. Listen, we're not a company that's going to tell you, hey, I got the next hottest, best indicator out there. Oh, I got the new Fausto Nacci out there. The new CTU flags. You know, what the hell? You know, there's thousands, not hundreds. There are thousands of, of indicators out there. Why don't you just keep it simple? Just follow the order. That's right, John. You could short it. You could have shorted at 850. How many of you guys are shorting? You know, people don't short. Do you know whatever goes up comes down twice as fast? Listen, better credit call spreads. Listen, whatever you're into, I'm just telling you this right now. If you don't know how to trade the stock, you'll never figure out credit, uh, credit call spreads. Remember, it's the movement of the stock that makes all those other things move. This is trading 101. And by the way, you can't. You can't find this indica this kind of technology, you know, um, out there. Uh, is this called an iceberg order, Casey? Yes, it is. Exactly. That is the next slide. Very good. So I came up with this word about when the movie Titanic came out. So I've been doing this for about 25 years, and we've been trading on level three ever since. And I'm like, you know, how do I – like? I, I took my Series 7, and we used to call these big block orders, you know, right? And there was like a rule, anything over 5,000 was called a block order. And I'm like, well, what's, that, can, what, what, what's like a what, – what happens when you see a big order, right? It's not really a block order. So I came up with this word called iceberg orders after watching the movie Titanic with my wife in the movie theater. I was like, wow, look at that. Beautiful ship, unstoppable, most powerful ship in the world, and it's sunk. Not by, you know, not by, by, you know, mechanical, just by stupidity. Why was it stupid? Because they spent all that money to make that ship, but they never realized, you know, if they knew what an iceberg was, it's not what you see on top of the water. It's what's at the bottom of the water. Okay. And when you think, when, and everyone using level one or level two, they're just seeing what's on top. They didn't look at the other orders below, which is where the real orders are. And then you all know what happened to Titanic. The end of the story is the thing sunk and crashed and everyone died. OK, do you want to be that person that goes out there and trades and like, I mean, think about how many times have you done a trade? And you're like, I don't understand. How did I lose money on the stock? You know, well, did you have the right radar? And that's where it all comes into play. All right. A, a lot of questions coming across here. 
Uh, how much capital does one need to day trade stocks? Uh, William, listen, I just told you a stock that we trade this morning. All right. RBZ. RBZ this morning was $1.50. Okay. In less than an hour, it went to two fifty. To buy 1,000 shares, how much money do you need? Oh, but it, it's dollar fifty. I don't trade dollar fifty stocks. You know, it's, 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 it, that's, 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 that's like the rule. You know, it's a penny stock. First of all, I do not trade penny stocks. Number one, okay, they're all Nasdaq National stocks. And number two, what the hell you care what the company does? You, you know, you, you don't have X amount of money. You don't need a lot of it. You know, listen, IVC. We traded this morning. Actually, it's going up higher right now. I don't know if you have guys have an execution system. I'm just going to put it in there. IVC. Look it up. IVC. Started this morning at seven dollars. In thirty minutes, it ran to nine. Now it's at nine twenty, and it's making a little bit of a move right now. But we don't we don't trade it this time anyway. I mean, how much do you need to trade that? Okay, so it's a misconception. Listen, I, I get a kick out of you know, like I, I kind of monitor other people in my industry. There was like I just got a, a, an alert. Somebody was trading. Hold on, let me see what it was. I, I just I laugh at some of these trades. I'm like, first of all, how, how are you going to get someone to trade a stock like this? Um, they traded, they traded Tesla today. Uh, who could who trades Tesla? Oh, you don't trade Tesla. You trade the options. Listen, if you can't afford to trade the stock, you can't afford to trade. Okay, so I mean, who trades Tesla over three hundred dollars? Oh, Facebook. Come on, is level three proprietary steve it's completely proprietary you could buy it um i don't know what who, you know once again i don't know where you bought it or who told you that but it's completely great uh phil said was a gap up opened plus three five the rzb yep it sure was and by the way that's a lot of that money was made in pre-market which a lot of people did not know how to do which i'm going to show all of you it sure did daniel it did explode and it doesn't matter where it is today, where it is right now. It backed off, but who cares? It's what we did in pre-market, not where it is right now. I don't. We don't own it right now. Who cares? It didn't go to zero for all I care. You know what I mean? TradeStation does have it, which, by the way, John, um, we actually showcased that platform uh, here at CyberTrain University, which, by the way, I'm just going to show you really quick uh, right here. Let me just share something with you. Uh, let me just show you. By the way, this is what you guys are going to be all invited to. So what you're looking at, this is actually our trading room. These are all our students. You can see right now, like uh, Ben just made 20 cents on uh, SOLO. We were trading that yesterday. That was great. Andrea kind of just chatting with the traders. These are our traders, how they're working together. So if you see this, he's basically looking at what they're, what they're doing right now. And this is one of our instructors. Nice trade, Ben and Andrea. This is Josh, one of our instructors, you know, complimenting him on the trade. Okay. So uh, here's IVC. They're trading this one right now. You can see it. Uh, Andrea just made plus 20 on 2,000 shares. So not bad. That, that's basically, you know, where you're all going to be uh, invited to come to. Now, let me get back to our PowerPoint. And uh, let me just move on. So now the next question is, which shockingly, one of you asked me about fake news. Well, it just so happened one of the slides talks about fake news. So how um, are some of these orders fake? Okay. Well, there is this thing called time and sales. What is time and sales? It's the confirmation of a transaction that took place. So when you see an order out there and you don't know, is it real? Is the guy canceling it? Well, how many of you guys using time and sales? This is going to tell you if the trades are going off. And not only that, what's great about time and sales is that you could adjust the size so it doesn't show you every stinking order out there. Because I know some people says, oh, I use time and sales. It moves too fast. I can't really understand it. It's great. Well, who trained you how to use it? Who trained you how to build it? Okay. Um, and also, how do you, you know, you, if you had a color coordinated, it kind of tells you where the orders are going. You get a lot of greens, stocks going up. Get a lot of reds, stocks going down. And you can see the traders in there trading together, you know. So it's a great tool. And you have to ask yourself, how many of you use it? You believe, I would say probably maybe 5% of you actually use it here. This is actually more important than any chart. By the way, 
the chart gets its data from this. So if you're looking at a five minute chart, guess what? You're five minutes behind. You're looking at a 20 minute chart, you're 20 minutes behind. That is where the orders come from. Uh, does the uh, day trader pattern rule apply to your program? Not necessary, Rich, because not only do we day trade, we do swing trade also. Okay. Now, the next question one of you guys asked me earlier, unfortunately, shockingly, dark pools. Okay. First of all, if you go to Investopedia, look it up. Dark pools are not available for the trading public. Okay. So, you know, I know there's some people out there that preach dark pools. Honestly, there's a the least of your problems right there. Okay. Um, we had a dark pool that came on yesterday uh, after hours. There was like a 400,000 share order like this one right here. You can see how GE, there was a big, uh, big buy order. Everything there is multiplied by 100. You know, for the, for the amount of time that you have to work to see an order like that is, you know, and, and it will actually move the market. It's like by the time you see it, you're already too late. You know, um, I wouldn't take it take it to as seriously as some people make it to be what you should take seriously is looking at all the orders and, and i'm just going to reiterate what a dark pool is so a dark pool is basically when a brokerage firm is has a client you know that wants one wants to buy it, one wants to sell it and they want to cross the trade within their brokerage account in their in their brokerage firm so they're not going out in the street which you're looking at on level three and then the, but it comes up on time and sales because that's the confirmation of the transaction took place. They have to run it through the exchange. Now, what was the purpose of it? What was the goal of a guy buying it, was selling it? Listen, everybody has their whole philosophy behind it, but honestly, it's a waste of your time. Don't worry about it. If you're so concerned about thieves and, and robbers and scammers and this and that, then you shouldn't be in this business in the first place. Okay. Now, think about this for a second, ladies and gentlemen. Getting back to the beginning. If a stock moves a dollar and you trade two hundred and fifty dollars, it's two hundred and fifty bucks. You trade five hundred shares, you know, you make five hundred dollars. You don't need to focus on making a fortune. You know, day trading, we just focus on making a day's pay, and that's it. So, you know, William, I hope that answers your question. Now, does anyone here use indicators? Uh, Rich says you you should record the trading room for people that get a feel of how the room works without uh, the setup. Well, Rich, you know what? Listen, honestly, are you really going to watch an, a recording? Come on. I mean, that doesn't make you money. You want to see anybody can manipulate a recording, whatever it is, you know, and everyone's going to and everyone always talks about, you know, they're never going to show you the bad ones. Right. How many bad you know, tr recordings have you seen? Like this PowerPoint, right? It's like, it looks so easy. Kind of actually is for me, maybe not for you, because I didn't teach you yet, but you want to see people lose money, right? Don't you want to see people lose money? Well, guess what? You are going to see them, and you can see how few we have, and most importantly, how to control them. So talking about indicators, right? Everybody, Everybody's pushing an indicator. Oh, well, my indicator is better than your indicator. Next thing you know, this thing looks like a big thing of spaghetti. OK, listen, stop getting confused. All right. The problem with indicators is they're laggers. They're not leaders. Indicators are always, always right. You know who's more right than an indicator? The order that's out there. An indic there's no indicator out there that will track orders out there. Believe me, if there was, I would have built it already. And believe me, I'm still, it's just, it doesn't work that way. So that's how that works. Well, Richard, just once again, that is a late order. That's all it is. It's a late order. A guy did an order, was holding an order to do a trade, you know, with his his companion in his office, and it's got to be running there. What does that mean to you? Listen, everyone's got like, you know, this whole philosophy behind it. Trust me, it's the least of your problems, okay? You can sit there and you analyze it all you want, okay? How do I know this? Because I used to do it myself, all right? Trust me. Don't worry about it. It's it's a, it's it. You want to know fake news? That's fake news. Okay. You want to see real data? That's real data. How do I know that? Because I was one of them. And that's right, William. We follow the volume. That's all you got to do. Just follow the volume. Listen, you're just trying to make the crumbs. 
That's it. You want the crumbs on the floor. You're not looking. You don't care what these people are showing these big boys. You're just trying to follow the big boys. And the big thing that we teach you at Cybertree University is called the KISS method. Keep it super simple. You know how people make things more complicated than what it is? People says, well, I, I can't fit everything on my screen. Didn't I just show you the picture earlier with all those traders on the floor? They got a laptop on their hand, you know, a little tablet, and they're looking at the screen. They're not looking at six monitors. You just got to know how to play the game. That's all you have to do. Focus on your day's pay. Doesn't matter if it's Micron, if it's RBZ, if it's ITC, if it's Tesla. You're just trying to make a day's pay. If it's MBOT. So we're almost done here, ladies and gentlemen. So you know what? I didn't realize I was talking too fast. So I got to get through this really quickly because I know some of you, including myself, have to go. Um, how do we find these stocks? Listen. Most big winners, we find them through the big percentage gainers and losers. Now, when you come in my trading room, okay, we're going to show you how we find them and which one to trade. Listen, there's a lot of them moving, but not, not everyone is a what we call tradable stock. Maybe it's a big spread. Maybe it doesn't have enough volume. doesn't have a dominating iceberg order out there. But we'll, what we do in pre-market, we'll scan through it. We'll do it together. And you'll see how we find them and find the perfect one, like Solo, which was yesterday, uh, up 316%. When's the last time you guys have been in a stock that was up 316%? Probably never, right? Guess what? We find them every day. <laughs> every day. People are like, ah, that's not true. All right, you'll see. You'll see. Look at it. These are the traders. Jerry, uh, Jerry made 72 cents. Nick made 32 cents. Uh, Andre made 54 cents on 3,000 shares. Lawrence, I normally trade after the bell, but he made 25 cents. You know, pot, beer, uh, pharmaceutical, does it matter, Casey? You know, you're probably talking about Crohn's, you know, C-R-O-N, uh, 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 BVEV. You know, yeah, listen, what's wrong with it? You might not be a fan. You know, people are like, oh, I don't trade stocks. I'm against. Uh, I'm against pot. I don't, I don't trade those. Does it matter to you? You know, if they pass it, make it legal across the country. We think it's going to happen to these stocks. Oh, you're going to sit there and just twiddle your thumbs and miss a 300% mover because you're against it. That's not a good trader. Okay. Um, all right. It does not matter, right? That's right. Uh, isn't uh, okay, Steve Stephanie? Isn't the more mo uh, move already done by the time the market opens? Absolutely not. Absolutely not, Stephanie. And I'm going to show you that uh, when you come into the trading room. So this is basically what I want to do, okay? Because we're running out of time right now, and I know you guys, like I said, have to go somewhere, and I got a class I have to teach uh, and get ready for the close with my traders. I want to invite all of you guys to come in my cyber group room. OK, this is the original trading room that uh, that started. And I started as 25 years ago. You're seeing everyone. Now everybody has a trading room. Well, I started the original one. OK, you want to get into the original trading room. You're all going to have the opportunity to see it. And not only that, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you the greatest feature of them all. You're all going to be able to come in before the market opens up and see how we trade pre-market, which is where we make 50 percent of our income. OK, some people like say, I, I never saw it. You can't trade pre-market. Well, who taught you? Who's, who told you so you can't trade pre-market? I guarantee it. OK, you're going to see it. Ra Raul, no problem. You're going to see it. How do you buy in pre-market? You're going to see when you register at um, right now, because the goal is it's not about how you trade in this and that. My goal is to teach you guys how to make the six figure salary, which is not really hard to do. 50 cents, 20 trades a day, nice, pretty income right there. So you want to learn from a mentor. You want to learn how to trade. You want to spend more time with your family. You, re you want to know why this is the greatest job in the world and you're not dealing with all those headaches and spend more time and enjoy life, you know. But unfortunately, we still got to make money, right? We're not, some of us are older. We know Social Security is not paying enough. Medical bills, you just got to pay more out of pocket. You know you got to make money. You, you can't live on your pension, right? Become a trader. So what I'm looking to do is I want to invite all of you to come into 
my original trading room and I want you to see what this is all about. Okay, you want to hear all the good and the bad and the ugly? You want to see what is really the truth? Well, listen, I'm one of the original Sows Bandits. If you ever read any of the old books, I actually have my own book too. It's called How to Beat Market Makers at Our Own Game. Um, Wiley, by the way, was begging me to kind of, you know, the, the the published company to write a day trading book. That's been one out in 20 years since uh, Harvey Halkin died. Um, that's a whole story to sell. But listen, the goal is this. See why Cyber Trading University has been endorsed and featured in the past 25 years by more brokerage firms than any other school in the industry. Okay. Listen, there are some really good marketers out there. Okay. There are some people that have, you know, have 10,000, 10 million views on a, on a YouTube video. Okay. And think he knows what he's talking about. Listen, it's not about that. It's not about, get, you know, going to some place and give you away a free car. You want to know the real truth? Find out who endorses them. You'll see why companies like Tastyworks, Tom Sostoff from recommends us, Trade Station, make me do a presentation there two weeks every, you know, every time they do a mastery class to their most you know, most active and most professional schools. TD Ameritrade, Ninja Trader, Metastock, Charles Schwab, eSignal, Tastyworks, you know, see why we've been featured on so many schools and uh, so many brokerage firms. So are you a monitor? Me, William, and several others here at Cybertrade University, okay? So this is what I'm going to do, okay? This is what I'm offering everybody. I want to offer everybody a, a crash course on day trading, okay? And I want to give you a week. And part of that week, you're going to get access to my trading room, okay? Now, this is for $9, all right? $9. And why it's $9? First of all, that sounds so cheap, right? $9. Why would you do for $9? Listen to me. The $9 is to prove to me you're a real person. Listen, we get hecklers. We get competitors um, in the room. You know, we're not looking for free people, okay? If you don't have $9, then obviously you, you, you don't have enough money to trade, all right? And this is what you're going to get for $9. You're going to get access to our trading room for a week. You're going to get three daily market meetings. You can get a morning and afternoon watch list. You can get your own personal education advisor. You're going to get live Q&A training session, all for $9. And guess what? At the end of the week, if you're not happy what you saw, I'll give you $9 back. Trust me, guys, I don't need your 9 bucks. It just proves to me that you're a real person. That's it. Okay? Listen, a lot of those chat rooms that you're seeing right now, you know, a lot of them were competitors. They got into our trading room. And listen, I'm flattered. You know, these webinars, I got, I'm flattered. We started, we, we were the pioneers who started it. But um, we got to put a clamp on that to know who you really are. And listen, as a bonus, I'm going to go over and beyond something. You register right now. The first 20 people that register are going to get a free coaching class from me. Now, could you ask you an honest question? How many of you guys took a training course? When's the last time you actually spoke to the owner of the company, that the, 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 the mentor? You know why? They don't want to talk to you. They just want your money. They just want to sell you a training course and, you know, and, and make thousands of dollars on you. Let me tell you something. I'm going to make thousands of dollars on you because if I could teach you to be a six-figure uh, trader, I'm going to make a fortune on your call-outs. Okay? So, but I need to know if you're qualified. Let me tell you something. We don't approve everyone in our trading room. Okay? Because – if we know you're not qualified, we're just going to tell you point blank, it's trading's not for you. We don't need your money, okay? What I need is qualified, honest, serious traders, okay? So you want to be serious? You want to learn? Take $9 out of your pocket. You got nothing to lose. See and look at people that trade every day. See if they make money doing it. See how they trade for them, think for themselves, and then we'll have a conversation, all right? Um, well, by the way, uh, Amila, uh, Hillary and Richard, they just basically put the link up there. You could also call in right now. All right, just a couple of shout outs really quick because I just got a bunch of people um, that just registered. So um, listen, I know a lot of you are not going to register and I get it. OK, I'm not going to be insulted. All right. I understand it's not for everybody. You know, you heard about it. You probably see me on YouTube and, you know, you see me at maybe any, some of these events and this and that. I get it. I'm not going to be insulted. Okay. Um, but you have to, you have to understand something that you really want to know the truth about day trading. You really want to know why people do make money and what people do on Wall Street. 
then you're going to get the opportunity to do it. Um, Julie from uh, Los Angeles just got your registration, the first one. Uh, Mike from um, uh, New Hampshire just got your registration. Uh, what is this? Uh, Bill from North Carolina, welcome aboard. Got your registration. All right. Any other questions, by the way? Can I sign up now and use it the second week of March? Yes. So basically, listen, we recommend you do the training. And uh, let me just uh, close this out. OK, so we recommend you do that. We start on Monday so you get to see what it's like, what happens after the weekend and how a, a Monday works. And you'll see how it gets better over the week. And then we'll schedule an appointment. You'll talk to an education advisor if he feels that you're qualified. Uh, and you like what's going on, then he'll schedule an appointment with me. We'll talk probably like on a th Wednesday, Thursday, you know, um, probably even Friday when you're almost done with your trial. And then I'll be the one I'll tell you if it's for you or not. Listen, it's a great job. But I'm being honest with you guys. It's not for everybody. It's not. And it's okay. All right. But what do you have to lose making a risk of five dollars? All right. For, for, for nine dollars. Uh, a couple of people out here that just registered. I uh, just got your registration. Raul from. Uh, Ryo, is that what it is? I'm sorry. I hope I didn't mangle it. I'm sorry about that. But uh, from out Phoenix, Arizona, just got your registration. Welcome aboard. Uh, who else we got here? We're almost out of 20, by the way, guys. Listen, there was a few hundred of you here, so you better hurry up and get there. Listen, if you don't get if you don't get it with me, the uh, if you don't get an appointment with me, that's fine. You'll still be able to talk to a one of them, one of our instructors. Uh, Gary from uh, California, Half Moon Bay, California, just got your registration. Who else we got here? Hui from William Williams from Oklahoma. Just got us. Someone just signed up from Oklahoma. Richard from uh, Sugarland. I don't know what state that is, but <laughs> welcome to the team. All right. Any questions, guys? You're more than welcome. Is everything uh, Michael says is everything online or do we have to classroom type and train? Well, everything is online, Michael. You don't listen. It's you're not going to learn to to come into a trading facility. You you know listen, it's better, but you can't learn how to trade in a week. Okay, so the thing is this: before you start making any investments and spending all this money, and the, go out there and try it out, see what it's about. Listen, I know there's some forex traders, futures traders, but and some people are like yeah, but I like options. You know what? That's okay. Why don't you see if maybe trading stocks might be easier. You like futures. Okay, great. You know what? Are you making a six-figure salary now? You know, and it shouldn't take you a couple of months before you should. Well, you want to see real people that are doing it? Come in the trading room and then go from there. Gary from Texas. I mean, I, listen, I've been, I had a radio show in Texas. Um, I got my mic right here, actually. Love, love Texas. Been there for years. Um, this is right up your alley. Couple of shout outs. I just want to kind of just make announcements. Uh, Daniel from California, Bakesfield, California, just got your registration. Congratulations. Welcome to the team. Look forward to talking to you. Uh, William Jordan from uh, New Jersey, not too far from me here in New York. All right. Welcome. Oh, Sugarland, Texas. Okay. That's not too far, Gary, from, um, uh, what was that, from Houston, right? Uh, Lloyd says, I, I can't join right now. Uh, not because I don't have the nine dollars on my name, but because I don't have uh, the time right now. Hopefully soon I will have it. Well, listen, can I be honest with you? Just sign up. Talk to the education advisor. If you need to push it off for four weeks, whatever it is, because, you know, we don't run this promotion all the time. So, you know what? And you know what? Honestly, you're going to forget about it. And you might come back six months. And you're going to kick yourself in the butt and say, you know what? I should have listened to Fausto and I should have done it a year ago. You know how many people I just spoke to? I just spoke to someone today. He says, Fausto, I've been following you for years. I saw you at every expo. I saw you at competitions. I saw you beat people. You know, he goes, I don't know what the hell I was doing, thinking. I don't know why I didn't start learning from you when you originally told me to. But you know what? Stock market's not going out of business. It's never too late. But just go out of your way. Just get it out of the way. Uh, what brokerage firm would you recommend? Michael, you know what? I I'm not in the brokerage business, okay? Um, there's a lot of great brokerage firms out there, but some brokers are better than others. Every one of you are a case-by-case -case basis, okay? So the thing is this, you know, I can't, you know, when you come to the trading room, we'll get to know a little bit about you. 
and we'll recommend a couple of brokerage firms that, that are more suitable to you. There's different people from different parts of the world, um, different margin requirements. So that's the reason why. Okay. No problem. Uh, let me see. A couple of people also coming in here. Just want us to a couple of shouts. Uh, Amelia from uh, Illinois. Just got your registration. Don Miller from uh, Greensville, Virginia. Welcome. Just got your registration. I think we're almost at past the 20. Peter D. from Virginia. Got your registration. Uh, Carter Clark from Florida. Palm Beach. I was just there. Um, Two weeks ago, I don't know if you know this, but Trade Station actually has uh, does that mastery course. They're down in uh, in Fort Lauderdale, and uh, we actually showcase their platform. Great platform, probably the best platform for stock trading. You know, it's one of that we really use highly in, in the trading room. But uh, when I was there, unfortunately, it was, it was still too cold to enjoy the weather. After Michael, after the week, if you want to continue, it's one hundred and fifty dollars a month. Okay, and listen, you don't want to do it, just let us know. We won't charge you for it. Listen. We don't, if I'm teaching you how to make two, 300 a day, $150 is cheap, right? But you need to see what it's like before, you know, uh, if it's worth it. Any other questions? As people type Jim Lynch, listen, I got, I got uh, wow, it's running a little behind. Okay, guys, I need to go. Um, I don't know if you guys registered yet, but just a couple of last minute people. Jim Lynch, just got your registration. Uh, who else we got here that just registered? Stephanie, there you are. You've been talking about the trading this whole time. I see you from New York City. All right, New York, New York. Beautiful local one. Just got, I just saw you, Stephanie. Welcome aboard. All right, everybody. So listen, thank you so much for being here. I'd like to thank my staff, CTU, for making this possible, helping you guys be there. Um, I know a lot of my staff had called you. Just please keep in mind, we're not going to harass you. If you're not interested, we don't care. That's fine. We don't need, we don't need anyone's business. We're here. You know, if you want to do it, great. You don't want to do it. That's fine. We're not going to be offended. Um, but the thing is, I just love doing what I'm doing because I hate seeing people lose money. You know, for $9, what do you have to lose? The $9, okay? Find out the real truth. Come in the trading room, see stocks up 200, 300%, hell, even 20%. Some of you never seen that before. You think it's a unicorn. Well, now you're going to see it in real, all right? People said, oh, this is all fake news, this and that. Oh, those are fake orders. Just come in the trading room. Let me prove it to you, okay? Uh, and then, at, you know what? At the end of the week, if it wasn't for you, I'll give you $9 back. I just would rather teach you real of the facts before you go out there, and then you'll know if trading's for you. So, guys, listen, thank you so much for being here. Um, if you want to come back next week, we do this every week. If you want to tell everyone else about us, that'd be great. But, uh, but once again, you got to just remember something very important. You have to learn before you could earn. One last question. Richard says, can we use Ninja Trader for inter uh, for interactive brokers? Uh, you, you could, Richard. You can, absolutely. But once again, don't worry about a brokerage account right now, okay? You can't put the you can't put the cart before the horse. All right. So here you are, somebody wants to buy a car. Uh, well, well, listen, once again, please don't put your email address um, in there and phone number. You could just call us up. You got you got the number right there. Just register, okay, guys? And uh, I just joined. Je yep, I saw I saw your registration, Patel. No problem. All right, everyone. So I'll see you all. You, by the way, you can like it's getting back about your question regarding about the brokerage accounts, about Ninja and Interactive. Listen, we do trading with all of them. Don't worry about that right now. That's the least of your problems. Okay, you got to learn how to drive first. You wouldn't put a 17 year old to drive a car if he never passed his road test, would you? You basically give him the keys to his coffin. It's it, it, it you know it's easy to drive. But you know, it's also, you got to be alert. Got to learn how to play the game. See you all. Thanks for coming. See you all in the trading room. Happy trading, everybody.